In other news, a tiger at the Bronx Zoo contracted COVID-19 from a zookeeper. That was announced yesterday. Today, Local 3's Rebecca Bartlemy spoke with one Upper Peninsula veterinarian on what the virus could mean for you and your pets. Animal Medical Center of Marquette says they've been tracking the correlation between COVID-19 and animals since the pandemic began. There was the first case of the Pomeranian in, in Hong Kong that tested positive. Hong Kong tested quite a few dogs at the time, and there was then a couple of days later the German Shepherd. With it being a coronavirus, the most common ones that you would see would be the cat and the ferret. With a zookeeper giving the virus to a tiger at the Bronx Zoo in New York, it's been proven that it could transfer from human to animal. If you, as a human, are diagnosed with COVID or you suspect you have COVID, to try to separate yourself from your pets to decrease the uh, exposure. Currently, we have not seen any um, cases where the pet then turned around and gave COVID to the owner, but it's something we're continually monitoring as we learn more and more about this disease. And even if your pet doesn't have the virus, the germs could still live on your pet like the surface of your computer keyboard or doorknob. We're now wearing masks when we're examining the dogs in the clinic just so we're keeping them as clean as possible and we're going to turn them to their owner. As an essential business, veterinary clinics are still open to provide important services like giving rabies shots and emergency visits. Reporting in Marquette Township, Rebecca Bartlemay, Local 3 News.